Hey guys, what's up? JWisp here, and welcome to episode 15 of the Survival Let's Play. Here we are, back in our wonderful world, and we are making tons of really great progress. In the last episode, we actually went into the nether, and we worked on making a super fast and efficient nether highway to take us to the location of our new village. I decided instead of revamping this village, I'm just gonna create my own village entirely. So I made a little tunnel from the portal all the way to the nether highway to take us to the new village site. And so I think that'll be pretty exciting. So if we go all the way down there, it takes us to the new village. But I have something pretty exciting. I was trying to think, how should I start this new village? What should I start with? What are the important houses and things that need to belong in this village? And I thought, every town needs a town center. And I was thinking, what would belong in this sort of middle of town area? And it hit me that we have the beacon. I made this iron farm a couple episodes ago, this really awesome iron farm, and ever since then I've been working on AFKing during the nighttime and getting iron blocks. And so far, we have tons, <laughs> tons of iron blocks. I mean it, we have so many. So, we can use these iron blocks to create a full beacon, and I think we should have the beacon be the center of our new town. Now besides that, I've also been working on a few other things in the world. You may notice that I have full netherite armor now. I actually had to kill myself to get off my helmet because my helmet, my old helmet, had a, the curse of binding, so it was stuck on me. But I worked on getting some good armor and weapons, and here we go, we're pretty stacked. I made sure to get mending on all of it, and I was able to get the XP to do a bunch of enchantments from the Enderman farm we made a few episodes ago. So what I want to do, this is the plan for this episode, make this beacon. I'll probably make it underground. I'll make the full beacon and I'll give us haste. And the reason I want to give us haste is because I realized after making this new armor and after, you know, making all these farms, I'm pretty low on resources. Not only am I low on stone, so I could use some cobblestone to turn into stone, but I'm low on coal, I'm low on iron, but I don't really need iron since we have the iron farm. I don't have tons of gold anymore, and I'm almost entirely out of diamonds. And so I figured we can do two fun things in one episode. Start off by making the beacon underground and making a sort of town center around the center light of the beacon. And then what we can do is have the beacon give us haste so that we can mine super fast. And with our efficiency 5 pickaxe, we should be able to insta-mine pretty much every block underground besides obsidian. What am I doing? Why am I running through here? We gotta actually <laughs> we gotta actually put the nether highway to use. So far, the nether highway, uh, it's not that big, so it doesn't really matter that much, but it will eventually be a bit bigger. But there we go. We can mine with the haste too. We can mine super fast, and we should hopefully be able to get tons of resources. So I'm gonna kind of scout out an area here, figure out where I want the center of this town to be, head underground, and we can make the beacon. All right, so here we go. What I did was I found where I wanted this beacon to be, I dug straight down to the center, placed an iron block to kind of keep track of the middle, and then I dug out this big room so we can make our beacon down here. So what we need to do, this is gonna be the middle block, so the beacon will be up here. We need to go out one, two, three, four blocks. One, two, three, four, and go out in either direction. And uh, this is gonna be the first layer of the beacon. The full beacon is going to be like 160 something blocks, which is insane. I should have enough iron blocks but if I do need more I should be able to uh, go grab some more because I do have pretty much a full double chest of iron at my iron farm but if we fill this in this should be layer one and then after this we just need three more layers and it should be pretty easy so for the second layer we just need to go in one block and fill in this entire thing again I see a lot of people make a mistake when they're making a full beacon and uh, what they do is they actually don't fill it in entirely they'll just leave the center uh, sort of empty which you can't do you need to fill in the center if you don't fill in the center it won't work you can't uh you can't cheat your beacon it won't let you uh there we can go this layer i really hope we have enough i don't remember the exact amount of blocks you need but oh yeah okay we're gonna have enough we have more than enough actually and boom there we go we can place our beacon on top Give it a sec. You have to make sure that above your beacon, it can actually reach to sky limit. If there are any blocks above your beacon, it just will not work. So we can have to give it some room. And uh, there we go. We have the full beacon. So let's put our iron in. We do have regeneration. And uh, obviously, I want haste. And what else? Haste pretty much it. So, that's all I'm worried about right now. I just, I, I care about haste. I'm choosing haste over regeneration because with haste 2 plus our efficiency 5 pickaxe, we should, ah, there we go. We can pretty much insta-mine everything. 
And with this full beacon, we also have a tremendous range of how far we can go and we still get the effect. Oh, that was this part of the issue when I was trying to make this beacon. There were a lot of lava pools down here. Thankfully, we have fire protection far in our pants, so we're pretty protected. But since we can insta mine, what I'm going to do is pretty much just start mining out this giant area and see how many diamonds we can get. My typical diamond method is just going and turning on subtitles, looking for noises that indicate a cave nearby, looking through the caves and seeing if we can find any diamonds. But with this, it doesn't even matter because we can pretty much just insta mine. And with the way diamonds spawn in Minecraft, it seems like for about every chunk, which is 16 by 16 blocks, we'll usually get at least one vein of diamonds. And so if we mine out multiple chunks with this method, which honestly won't take us too long since we're insta-mining, it should be pretty quick. Now it is kind of dark down here, and there is a lot of lava, so I want to be a little safe. Instead of just going and mining everything right now, I'm going to plop the elytra on. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can go through this one little hole. Ah, there we go. We did it. So, I just want to head back to my house. I actually moved some items in my chests here, so we can uh, we can gather some new items and uh, make mining a little safer. I also do want torches, because it's really dark down there. But let's mine, and let's see what we can get. So this is insane. I made this little line of torches right here, because right in front of here is where this haste effect still lasts. So the beacon is all the way, all the way down here and we are still getting the haste to effect of the beacon. So we should be able to mine out pretty much this entire underground area for many chunks. And of course, the uh, haste effect applies all the way up to world limit. So we should be able to do tons of mining. Now, I'm not gonna mine out this entire space because uh, I think that's a little overkill. Even though we do have insta mining, it's gonna take a little bit. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure it's entirely worth all the time. I just want to mine for a little bit, get some resources, because like I was saying, I am low on some things. I'm low on coal. I'm low on redstone. I'm low on lapis from all the enchanting. I'm even low on gold, besides the, uh, the gold blocks we originally had. Just because we're going to get so many blocks, I did bring a few chests down here, as well as a whole stack of wood to fill all this up. Because normally when I'm mining, I throw out blocks, you know, like andesite, cobblestone, granite, stuff like that. But... I have a lot of really big build projects coming up in my world, and I'm going to need a lot of resources for them, especially cobblestone, because I use a lot of stone brick in my builds, and so I need a ton of cobblestone and a ton of coal to be able to smelt that cobblestone into stone and then make stone brick. So I'm pretty much going to be saving everything. Eventually, you know, if I end up getting stacks and stacks of useless things, I probably won't keep it, but I'm just going to mine around here and see what kind of goodies we can get. Alright, so I've been mining for maybe like 7 or 8 minutes, and I've already caused a massive amount of destruction. The only thing sort of standing in my way from totally- was that a diamond? Oh, yo, another vein of diamonds, I didn't even see that. <laughs> I just saw the little blue out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, ooh, uh, any more diamonds around here? The only thing keeping me from totally annihilating this area is the fact that there are a lot of lava pools around here, which I didn't really anticipate for, I didn't really think about that, but I am still able to destroy a huge area with this beacon, and we have mined a ton. I'll probably do some more mining, maybe on stream sometime, or off camera, or just things like that, mine out this entire area. But we definitely mined a lot, and we have tons of resources from it. Just in this chest alone, as you can see, we have tons of stuff. This chest, we have a stack of diamonds, we have tons of coal, redstone, lapis. Uh, and this the chest, now we have also like a stack and a half of diamonds. So just like, not even 10 minutes of mining, we have like a stack and a half of diamonds, because I've found veins all over the place, especially near the lava pools. So actually, I don't know why, I don't know if it has to do with anything, but whenever I mine near the lava pools, I seem to find more veins of diamonds. But there are also tons more ores, like there's tons of redstone everywhere, tons of iron, coal, more redstone, th things like that, crazy. The only reason I didn't mine them as much is because they aren't quite as instantly mined as stone, and so I just kind of neglected them a bit. But definitely if I need more resources, I can just come out here. Uh, I've only mined up about, you know, maybe four or five blocks maximum from this bottom level, but also once I start mining up like this, uh, we should be able to find tons more ores and diamonds too, because diamonds can spawn anywhere from the bottom layer of the world all the way up to about Y15, so we have tons of mining to do and places we could still find diamonds. So for now, I feel like that's pretty good. Let's grab all of our materials and head back up to the overworld, uh, back to civilization, back to where things matter. And check some things out, because what I want to do, like I mentioned earlier in the episode, is I'd like to actually mess around with this beacon a bit and do some decorating in the overworld, just like this. Let's fly up here really fast. Let's be careful. So I figured that around right here, let's actually fly up so we can get a good view of this area. 
I figured that around where that beacon is will be the center of my town. That is just one house. We have that massive crater there. I don't even know what caused that crater. It looks like a meteorite slammed into there. But this right here will be about the center of town. Thankfully, from all that mining, we also got tons and tons of dirt, which we can use to, uh, let me fly up again. We can use that dirt to, uh, fill in a lot of the holes in the land here so that'll be really useful but yeah i'm gonna decorate this beacon a bit let's try to make some sort of nice like town center for this new village all right so to start off i terraformed this entire area i used some of the dirt we had from mining down there to uh, fill in a lot of the holes and i also flattened out a lot of this land so we have some room to work with i think it looks a lot better and uh, i also used my water bucket as like a lawn mower to sort of plow down the plants and grass so we have a nice big flat area here for us to build and I think we can definitely make something look really nice. I'm thinking that I might make the beacon some sort of center of town, maybe like a fountain or a statue of some sort, and then around here make some custom trees, have like a garden area, maybe some small houses or shops, and I think it'll look really nice. Alright, so it's been a little bit and I've been messing around with some designs and I pretty much came up with this for a town center. I decided to make some sort of fountain, little, you know, small fountain area. Uh, I put some lanterns around here, I put this little stone brick area around the fountain to keep the water contained, and I have this path using cobblestone, mossy cobble, which I didn't have a lot of, I used all my mossy cobble now, uh, and some andesite, and then I also added some fences, some lamps, some leaves, and I think it looks pretty good, but it looks a little barren still, it looks a little, uh, lacking in detail and so what I'm gonna do is I grab some of my bone meal I actually have tons of bone meal from uh, my composter from my old farm and I'm just gonna go around like this and I think bone mealing this area will make it look a lot better because it looks it looks pretty barren right now after I uh, you know took out all the grass and took out all the flowers with my water bucket I think once I add them back it'll look a lot better because it like I said it looks like it's lacking detail a bit if it seems like it needs a little more I do have plenty of flowers in my chest uh, I have a lot of rose bushes too a lot of the like too high tall flowers and if I add them around here I think it'll look a lot better but let's see how it looks with just the bone meal honestly just bone mealing the area can make any house or structure at all look a lot better so let's just make sure most of this is filled with grass let's see Let's go out a few blocks farther just in case. We are getting a lot of flowers, which is nice. I think the flowers look really good. Add some color. Even though I'm colorblind, who cares? <laughs> Let's see. I think I'll just do this until I run out of bone meal. If I go around here, I think overall this should look pretty good. But this, this fountain took me a while. I messed around with a lot of different designs to kind of see what I liked. And let's check it out. There we go. It, it does look a lot better. The bone meal definitely helps make it look a heck of a lot better. Let's also get this little area up here filled with grass. I just break all the too high grass because the, the double tall grass, I don't know. I'm just not a fan. I think it looks kind of gross. I think it looks pretty bad. Uh, we also have tons of sunflowers here, which is nice. But there we go. I think I think this looks really nice, actually, this little fountain. So this, this whole village is still pretty new. It's pretty deserted still. I don't have villagers yet. I don't have many structures. But I think this will act as a nice center for... Uh, you know the town and so around here going in various directions I'll build little huts you know I'll build little houses for them I also want to build at least to start off right now a few little market stalls like make a small little market area and I think it'll look really good I'm mostly doing more of my building off camera because I think that I, I, I don't know I build a lot better off camera it's not that entertaining I feel like to watch me build uh, just because I mess around with so many different designs like I try to see oh does this block look better or, oh hey like does this block look better should I use mossy cobblestone things like that and so I mess around a lot but if you guys want to see more of the actual building let me know but the way I prefer it is just to build something first and then show you guys afterwards so hopefully you could get some inspiration I also added some uh, little lanterns around here and stuff like that so I think once we actually get some villagers in this village and this town sort of becomes a little more lively I think it'll look really good so I'm super excited to see how this turns out okay I just made a random little path here I actually cleared out the area a bit that I bone mealed uh, and I think this little area right here I'll eventually make this bigger and you know make it expand to here and here but I want to start at least right now making a small little market area I don't have to necessarily finish it right now I just want to start it and see how this looks so I'm gonna show you guys uh, actually, I will need a trapdoor, I think. The design I typically use for market stalls, I made it once a, in my uh, last survival let's play, but I think it looks really good, so I'm gonna mess around with it. So where should I put the first one? I think I'll do it like right here. So if I just do this, 
and have these four little uh, oak logs like that. Fill it in with slabs just to give it some shape. Now, once these market stalls are actually complete, what you can do is you can actually put a villager in here and it just, it looks so great, it looks so complete. Uh, let's go like this, take our fences, go up two blocks each, like that, but bam and then I'm gonna take wool, let's make this one, let's make this one light blue. I, I got light blue and red just to start off here. I'm gonna head to the roof like this, and what I'm actually gonna do is on the side here, go one, boom, just like that, and sort of alternate the wool colors. When I alternate them, it looks a lot better. It gives more uh, detail and sort of stuff like that. Oh, I might actually need to grab some more light blue wool for my chest. I do have some more, so it's okay. I have some more dye, but oh no, actually, I think we have just the perfect amount. Look at that. I'm just that good. But there we go. <laughs> we have that first stall. Uh, and then what I usually do is just add an item frame. And then, hmm, what if I put it on this block instead? Ah, oh, there we go. And then kind of what it is. So like this could be like a fish stall. And then I add a barrel, just like that. And boom, I think that looks pretty good. Actually, what happens if we move those two blocks up a little bit. I think that might look better if we move these two blocks one block higher. I just want to do these little market stalls to uh, make this village, I don't know, be a little more lively. Even though it doesn't, uh, you know, serve any functional purpose, I think it'll make nice decoration for the village. So let's do this. Let's build up a bit higher. Oh no, I broke, I broke the item frame. Here, let's do this. I'm not sure if this will look better. I just want to test. Do a quick test to see if this does actually look better. Because I have a theory that it might. But who knows? <laughs> let's build down. Let's get our item frame back really fast. Let's see how this looks now. Mm, that looks alright. I think I liked it before though, when this was down. So what I'm going to do is put this wool down one block and then make another one of these market stalls probably on the other side out of red wool. And let's see how this area looks once we're done. And there we go. I added a second one. This one I gave a pickaxe to act like, you know, maybe it's like a little mining shack or something like that. And I think this looks very good. Eventually, I'll probably detail this path a bit more, add more of these stalls, and get villagers in this village, and I think it'll look great. But anyways, guys, that's going to be all for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm having lots of fun in this world, especially since I'm finally getting back to build projects instead of just building farms and stuff like that. Because it seems like that's what people enjoy, and I've taken a break from building for a while, so I'm hoping my skills aren't too rusty. I'm trying to, uh stretch my creativity a bit but hopefully you guys could get some inspiration from this and uh you found this useful if you did if you found this video enjoyable and useful consider leaving a like and subscribing on the channel i really do appreciate it and it really helps me out but anyways guys thank you so much for watching this is jay wisp and i will see you guys all in the next one